Welcome back. We've been doing a performance review of the President Muhammad Buhari administration and it's for it's a for and against you on the issue tonight. Gentlemen, uh, coming back now, let's look at, take a step back a bit at what we're talking about anti-corruption. Um, Honorable Aliyu, when you were talking about the fight against corruption, you mentioned some names. Now, those names were actually accused of anti-party activities, one of them being... Um, Senator Darie and Abdullah Adam. Well, how is it that they both, you say Darie is in prison, but he was accused of anti-party activities before he was even sent to prison. Is that not why the party seemed to let him go? No, 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 absolutely. It's got nothing to do with the party activities. Look, he has been in court, just like what my brother here said. Yes, he's been in court from four or five years ago, but then this government continues. And look, government is not when one government finishes. PDP government, it's PDP, but government, government in Nigeria. So when APC took over, we just continue from where they stopped, continue with the good works they are doing, and stop the bad works, which were more, they are, they are doing. So look, Darie, as a member of APC, I'm telling you, if it were in those days, they would have introduced one injunction or the other, or to compromise the judges to ensure that Daria goes free. But look, in this government, he was allowed to, I mean, justice was allowed to be served, both on him and on the state. So, so, and, and the same goes for, for, for Jolie Nyami. It's got nothing to do with party, and I, I'm telling you, our government goes by the oath of office and oath of allegiance. That what, I assure you. What about I, obedience I, to the I, rule I, of I law? You that. What about obedience to the rule of so, law? Uh, abuse of law. Abuse of what, what is the abuse of Obedience law? to the rule of law. Of course, this government obeys the rule of law. We do. We obey the, the ruling of courts. Yes, we do. Even when it stands against the security issue? In, 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 you, know, you remember that issue that probably about people that are still in jail when court said they should go. There is a Supreme Court judgment. It's a law of this country, this, you know, the, where it says that, look, certain things are above the law, like security situations. If somebody is accused against, I mean, for security breaches that could endanger the country, the government has the right to keep that person incarcerated. Mm. And that's exactly what's happening. There's Supreme Court judgment, a Supreme Court judgment to support what is happening in the country. All right, Senator Garba. Don't abuse the rule of law. All right, Senator Garba, now, so far, it looks as if the APC is standing on a good stead, and they are saying you guys are the ones that messed up and you should not even be given a chance to come forward, especially in the area of security and corruption. He says the PDP did some good work, that's according to Honorable Liu, but the bad works were more than the good works. So what would be different should the PDP be given a chance to come back in? Well, um, you know, in life, it is always good for one to learn uh, from mistakes. And uh, the PDP of today, I can assure you, is a, a, a reformed party, uh, rebranded, and uh, with the aim of, uh, you know, claiming our mandate, comes to 2019. And I do believe Nigerians will have it uh, very pleasing to have the PDP back to power, because... Um, we have a very good plan to improve on the security of lives and property in the country and then uh, improve the economy itself. So the PDP is uh, a rebranded uh, party. And uh, all the internal crisis we were having before the 2015 election uh, are things of the past. So I can assure you this and assure Nigerians on behalf of the leadership. Okay, so you have plans. If, I, if, if the two of you can just tell us what plans do you have to improve on the economy in 30 seconds each? Plans to improve on the economy and security. Let me begin with you, Senator Garba. We need, we need, you know, we need to have a very eloquent and intellectual uh, uh, economic team. Uh, that goes to show the readiness of the PDP by picking uh, Peter Obi whom we all believe that he knows something about the economy. And um, he has the capacity considering the way he governed uh, the state of Anambra for eight years, leaving the treasury with uh, almost, I can say, the highest amount left by any governor in this uh, country. So it is uh, our common belief that we will improve on the economy, economy very greatly. 
So you're hinging your, your own plan on an individual. Okay, Senator, uh, Honorable Ali, rather, what's your own plan? Ex exactly. You, you see, well, our plan one, first of all, you could see is going to be consolidation, improvement on um, like agriculture, the way that the country has gone back to agriculture to improve the, 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 the welfare of the people, also people to have more money in their pockets. Also, in the, you, you know, you could see how now, like, there is stability in the foreign exchange market. More, in, more people are investing in this country because they believe in the sincerity of purpose, of the leadership. And in terms of security, my brother here is from Bauchi State. I mean, you people, so those of us that live in Abuja, all of a sudden in Nigeria we've forgotten that, look, when we came, this Boko Haram issue was a reality. We didn't know of all these Fulani Hartsman crisis that we are tackling now. But as of the time we came, when we had issues of Boko Haram, Boko Haram is almost gone now. It's not gone completely. And then the issues, uh, the security issues are, around, are, are in the country now. You could see how deployment, also purchases of equipment. These equipment, monies for equipment, were stolen in this country. You and I know that, look, people are being prosecuted now for stealing monies that were meant to defend us, you and I. So these are the kind of things that we're going to consolidate to ensure that the armed forces are fully kitted so that they can fight terrorism, you know, vandalism, you know, and, and uh, the full and... If, if I may come in here, the, the argument amongst the electorate in Nigeria is the both the APC and the PDP are the same old, same old. So what should, why should the electorate even be looking at the two major parties in the country when they are about 90, I mean, 87 other parties are there, 89 other parties there that they can look towards? Why should they be looking at APC and PDP? Well, uh, they should be looking at APC because, one, you still have to come back to personalities. We have a president in Muhammad Buhari who everybody acknowledges that, look, this is somebody that is, can be, cannot be compromised. This is somebody cannot, that you cannot sit on the table and discuss monies or discuss kickbacks or to condone corruption. You know that. So, I mean, Nigerians should look at the person, the leadership of the person in Muhammad Buhari who tries to as much as possible. Nothing. Okay. There is nothing All right. Muhammad Honorable Buhari. Honorable thank you very much. Let's hear, let's hear from Senator Garba before we go. Senator Garba. Well, um, on that, if you look at uh, how the, the two political parties were formed, the uh, People's Democratic Party was formed in 1998 with the sole aim of uniting Nigeria and, uh, you know, returning it to a democratically elected uh, government. And if we look at how uh, the PDP governs this country for 18 years, uh, 16 years, I mean, there is no, there is no state, local government, or what you will go without an infrastructure in this country. And then the issue of security itself, look at the effort made by the PDP to contain the insurgency within the two major states of Yobe and Medjugorje. I am from the Northeast. And uh, it was even, uh, you know, contained to the border of uh, Niger and uh, uh, Chad. Now, if you look at the escalation from the Northeast, come to the Northwest, come to the North Central, where is the story? All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Farouk Aliou of the All Progressives Congress and Senator Gama Garba of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you both for sharing your thoughts with us. That's Politics Today. I want to thank you for letting us be a part of your evening to bring you another edition. I'm Neil Tagbe. Bye-bye for now.